great college basketball game. And uh, I'm really proud of our guys. Um, it was just about everything I thought it would be in terms of, of two really good teams. And, and um, uh, Wisconsin stresses you uh, in a lot of different ways, especially with their, their wing post ups and their guards. Um, but um, uh, Kobe King was terrific tonight. Uh, incredible step back at the end. But I'm really proud of our guys. We dealt with some adversity tonight. Uh, Georgie was a non-factor in the first half, as was Allen. And um, yet we found a way to kind of manage that half and get through it five or six down. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball very well. And um, uh, yet the second half was completely different shooting. We shoot 62% and uh, 71 from the uh, from the three, the only thing we didn't do was shoot free throws very well. But uh, uh, I loved our execution late. Uh, put the ball in Io's hands, uh, coming off a ball screen. We had we had set the play up previously uh, throughout the game with a couple lobs to Kofi. Uh, the backside of that play was was executed great with uh, a pin in, and, and Allen hit a hard three. Then we left Trent in the corner, and uh, then Io. That's kind of what Io does is, you know, just a little step back and games on the line, he usually makes those. So, uh, but uh, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of toughness at the end from us in terms of Georgie uh, not fouling. Uh, Allen came up with a big rebound and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great road win in what is the best conference in uh, college basketball this year. Got mics on either side, <coughs> <Mike Brown. coughs> Here in front, Brad, you you called a timeout shortly before the final media, and then wanted two minutes to go. Uh, I wonder if you'd like to give any special credit to members of your staff for game management and how you pulled this one out. Yeah, it takes everybody. There's nothing easy. I mean, I, Chen Coleman had the scout uh, tonight, and I thought that uh, uh, you know you get uh, you get guys that uh, know your team and know your uh, know your opponent. And, you know, one of the things that, that uh, Chin was very dialed in on was was uh, uh, their their three point shooting. We knew that there was going to be some post ups and that they would take advantage of us there. But um, uh, and then again, you, you know, guys see certain things and and um, and we talk about those things in huddles. So it takes a, it takes a great staff, and I'm blessed. I've got a great staff to uh, uh, help make those decisions. Io said when he came back, he had some business to finish. What was it like to see him? Finish tonight. What it mean for him and for you guys? I mean, I it's it's a it's a um, it's a growing process. You don't rush success sometimes, and, and you know, and I, I liken our team's development to a little bit like Allen's growth. You know, you you have to go through some things, and you have to deal with some things, and and you know, I think I would be the first to tell you that being a freshman in the Big Ten and playing playing basketball at a high level is really hard to do. Uh, because you, you find out you don't know as much as you think you know. And, uh, uh, but yeah, now, now there's experience and these guys are bonded together and there's connectivity and, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, I'm really, really happy for that, for, for those guys in that locker room. Coach, Kofi said it after the game on the broadcast uh, that it's been 3,200 days since he beat Wisconsin. What's it kind of mean for the program to finally get over that hump and after eight years beat the Badgers? Well, I think they said I.O. was 10. Um, and you know what, I, I don't make a big deal about that. It speaks to how successful Wisconsin has been and the great teams that they've had. Um, you know, a lot of those guys don't weren't a part of so many of those games. They've, they have been a few of them here. But uh, the other piece to that is it, it's, it's the best conference in the country, and, and to get a to get a road win, that's what means the most for this group, and that's what uh, uh, you know we can celebrate in the locker room on that trip home tonight. Brad, I'm wondering in those late game situations, from your vantage point, what do you see out of Io and the way he commands the huddle, or just the way he carries himself when the game's on the line? Yeah, he's got what you don't coach. Um, you know, he's not afraid. He's fearless. He's uh, he's very very poised. Uh, you know, if, if, if it takes a certain type of guy to want the ball in those situations and not fear the miss. You know, if you guys will, you guys will remember we had 
put the ball in his hands late in the game situation earlier in the year and it didn't go very well. Uh, he, he still wants it. He's not afraid. He's, he's, he's fearless and he's been in those moments so often. And he knows he's going to make it uh, more often than not. And so do we. <clears throat> Brad Allen picked up some fouls early and some, some other players, but a really efficient night again for him. Just how big was that for you guys tonight? Yeah, Allen's a huge part of what we're doing and the, and, and our growth and our, and our continued development. And, and uh, you know, one of the hardest things to do as a player is, is get out of sync in a game real early and find a way to, to, to get your groove back into it. And, uh, you know, he did that. His three in transition uh, was, was big. And then obviously, uh, you know, his, 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 his rebounds at the end and then the three that uh, – uh, off the little set was was good, but it's I, you know he just stays in the game. Allen just plays, man, and and, and it doesn't the situation doesn't doesn't bother him. Brad, yeah. Brad, Brad, you know how difficult it is obviously to win on the road in this league this year. You might you guys made the plays down the stretch, but you think it was equally as important to not let them build that lead to double digits, but you guys hung in there and kept it to. I think six or seven, five in that range for a long time to be in position down the stretch. Yeah, there's no doubt. And, and we, we talked about that a lot. I mean, you, you play Wisconsin and you let them get double digits, you might as well make it 20. Uh, it stresses you in so many ways. And, and uh, you know, so many of their possessions are one of the best teams in the country in terms of efficiency in the last eight seconds of a shot clock. And uh, so many of their possessions go that deep and you can't, uh, can't get back in the game. Uh, you know, then it stresses you on the offensive end to, to have to score. So uh, that was that was big, um, and uh, you know, and then I, you know, limiting them from the three was was a big part of that. And it, you know, when you when you have as few possessions as Wisconsin has throughout the course of a game, and you shoot 26 threes a game, you need to make sure they don't make them. Frank, you said you'd go through some adversity in this game tonight. I wondered if you could comment on the front court depth. And how you guys were able to manage fouls late in the game to have Kofi and Georgie both on the floor if you did. Well, we did some things that, that we, you know, we, we had to play DeMonte a little bit at the four, um, you know, and really to give Kipper a little bit of a break. And, uh, you know, Jermaine give, gave, us a, gave us a minute or two around some media timeouts uh, in the first half. And, you know, we've got a little package that we go to when, when, uh, when we're a little out of sync like that and not normally as big, but uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all about the last five or six minutes of the game managing so you can get to that point with your with your guys. And, uh, you know, things got out of, little, out of kilter a little bit, but we were, we were able to, to withstand that. <coughs> First half, Wisconsin Bench was calling out a lot of your plays to, to their defenders. Second half, of course, they're at the wrong end. And Basically, only Potter was saying, "This is what we're gonna. This is what they're doing." Do you notice a difference when the team can't get those kind of instructions from them? If they want my, if they want my play card, I'll give it to them. They still have to guard it. That that's one of the most overrated things I think in, in basketball is, you know, you still have to guard the action and figure out, you know, how you're going to counter it. So that didn't bother us at all. We've got time for one more. Brad, you mentioned yesterday that the next step for you guys as a team was to win on the road. What, what was your message to the guys, and what does that mean to you guys as a program to have done this in this league this year? To quote Bill Belichick, Rutgers, Rutgers, Rutgers. If you've all seen that video, you know that's really funny. Uh, but it's on to the next. It's on to the next, and, and uh, um, you don't get you don't get to enjoy these very long. But it, I'm really proud of them. I'm happy for them. And uh, it's on to the next.